Okay, so today we're gonna do this look using the Jaclyn Hill palette. I just wanted to give y'all another tutorial because God love Jaclyn, this palette is amazing. And the possibilities are endless. As you can see, I did go for the orange smoky, but I did a little bit different on my lid. Um, I hope y'all really enjoy this. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. There's a button below us. There's a button beside me somewhere. Just be sure to hit that button, subscribe, turn on the notifications so you can see when I post. And let's get into this look, you guys. Okay guys, so today I'm going to go for a look with my Jaclyn Hill palette. I've only done one so far and I wanted to come in here and do another one because I know everybody loves this palette. I'm going to try to make this kind of quick. So I've already got on my MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre. The first thing I'm going to do is go in with this for my transition shade on this big fluffy brush. I'm actually trying out some brushes that I recently got that I think I'm gonna love. They are really nice rose gold. Um, they came from Amazon. I will link them down below. And it's a brand that I already know I love. They sell a lot of the really pretty mermaid brushes and such. And this is just a regular set because I don't know if you're like me, but I don't ever actually use my mermaid brushes because I love them too much. Now the rest of the brushes I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna show you now, are these. Got a little stray hair on you. And they are really nice. Uh, the brand name is Doe Color, I think is how that's pronounced. Anyways, back to the look today. I'm gonna go for a kind of teal look. I'm gonna go into big fluffy brush. I want to dip into, huh, I can't decide. Let's go for a red and teal. So we're going to dip into this color right here and just put that all over in our crease. And I'm breaking some rules today, but I feel like it. So that's what I'm going to do. We're just going to put this all over in the crease. And these are some really stiff brushes so they distribute a little different than the ones I normally use and we're gonna see how that works out and so far it looks pretty good okay now that we've gone into that color we're gonna dip into this one right next to it kind of a deeper red. It's this third one over. We're going to do the same thing with it and just put it all over in the crease. Just to deepen that up and try to keep it a little bit lower to give this a really good smoked out kind of look. And I don't know why I want to put these colors together today, but it just feels like a good idea. Okay, so the next thing I want to do for my crease is dip in to this color right here. It's this chocolate brown I used in my last tutorial and just put it in the outer corner. We're just going to focus it right out here. just to give this some more depth. Okay, and that's gonna be it for our crease. So the next thing we wanna do, of course, is go in to this color right here with a more flat brush. And we're just going to pick this up and see what we get without any um, fix plus. 
It actually looks pretty good on its own. And I didn't put any face makeup on first. I usually do face makeup then eyes, but I knew that if I wanted to go for a look this bright today, I should probably wait on the face makeup because it's going to get everywhere, possibly. Maybe not. Not too bad so far. Okay, so we've got that down. Next thing we want to do is dip into this dark blue. And this is going to be a little crazy, so bear with me while I do this. And we're just going to take it on the other side of our brush and put this in the outer edge. And this may need a little fix plus. Well, or not. It's actually looking pretty good on its own. I hope you all can see that. And we're just going to put this in this outer edge over here. And that's going to give it, I want to ombre this a little bit. So then we'll just do the same thing on this side. And just lay it down over here. So next we're going to dip into this color right there and I've already swatched it and I love this color very much and we're going to put it on the inner edge over here. And then we're just going to take a little bit of this purple color right here and kind of put it in the middle and see if we can get that to blend these two together. And I'm going to use the tip of the same brush because since we're blending them, if they get mixed together a little bit, that's all right. This follow is getting real down here. Okay. So that's going to be that for up there. And then we're just going to take one of the shimmer shades and toss it in the brow bone. And I am going to clean this up a little and I will be right back. Alright guys, so here we have it. I finished out my face. I uh, did my highlight. By the way, this is blinding. Keep watching my videos and you'll find out what I used. Got some lips on and some lashes. These are the Pure Lashes. I'm not sure if they're Bombshell or Diva, but I got them in my boxy charm. And did my brows with a wonderful little tool that I recently got. And you'll be seeing a video on it soon too as well. So I hope y'all really enjoyed this look. I know I had a lot of fun making it and I can't wait to wear this out. I got a little bit of sad stuff to do this morning and then I have a date night tonight. So uh, we'll see how this lasts. And here is a good look at it. I hope y'all have an incredible day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.